Let me demonstrate the integration between Appromore and MuleSoft RPA Manager for the purpose of identifying and assessing the impact of automation interventions on a business process before registering this into MuleSoft RPA Manager. I'm going to start with a field service management event log that I have pre-uploaded into Appromore. This log is the result of merging nine different data objects from Salesforce, including cases, service appointments, and work orders. I've created this through Appromore's embedded no-code ETL module, and I've also prepared a template for our MuleSoft connector for Appromore, so I can automatically ingest and prepare this data set into Appromore using MuleSoft in a snap. So if I double click on this data set, Appromore will automatically discover the underlying business process between this data set. I can see the process map where I've got activities such as case creation, work order and service appointment creation, then the work order and or the service appointments may be canceled or put in on hold. And then if we proceed successfully, then we can schedule the uh, work order, dispatch the service appointment, contact the job, and then close the work order and the case accordingly. I'm looking at a set, at a data set that covers about 20,000 work orders um, going from mid-October 2022 uh, until the 8th of October 2023, so covering about four months. I can see that the average time it takes to handle a work order end-to-end -end is 1.3 weeks. However, we've got peaks at 3.7 months, and that's clearly indicating that there are outliers in this data set. In addition, uh, this data set captures these 20,000 work orders through uh, 1,000 different case variants. These are the different pathways through which I've handled the work order in this period of time. That means that this process is only showing a very simplified view of the actual business process. In fact, I'm only looking at the top 10% most frequent arcs. If I start sliding this arc slider uh, to the right, I can see that more and more arcs will pop up showing all the possible connections in this process. And if I explode the arcs to 100%, I would expose the naked complexity of this process, which indeed looks more like a blob rather than a business process itself. In a promote, I can overlay different statistics. For example, now I'm looking at a frequency, which essentially captures the volumes of activities that are performed throughout this process. I can switch to the cost overlay and see where I'm spending most of my money, or I can switch to the duration and see what activities are potentially a source of bottleneck. Here I see, for example, the work order scheduled takes on average 19 hours. That's definitely a duration that is much longer than the average duration of the other activities, which are in the order of a handful of hours, if not minutes. I can also see where I've got long waiting times, e.g. between work order cancelled and case cancelled. But let's come back to our work order schedule bottleneck. Let me quickly drill into this to see what are the roles that are involved in this activity. If I switch the perspective to role, I can see that uh, despite having this activity being performed by a dispatcher, which is the typical role that is supposed to perform this activity, I can see that I'm also performing this activity through the front office, the operator and the system administrator. When it comes to the operator, I see that it takes longer than the time took by the other roles. And if I look in terms of total volume, I can see that if the dispatcher performs this activity most of the times, the operator performs this activity about half of the number of times this is performed by the dispatcher. So definitely the operator performing this activity is causing a bottleneck in this process. So what I'm going to do now is to go back to the activities perspective remove the filter that I've applied and switch this process map into a BPMN model. 
So what I'm going to do now is to actually save this BPMN model into my workspace. And I'll ask Apromore to also automatically discover the simulation parameters. Effectively, what Apromore is building now for me is the digital twin of this process, which is nothing else than a BPMN model annotated with simulation parameters, such as distributions of activities durations, branching probabilities, resources and their SFTEs, and the arrival rate, which allow me to use this model as a starting point to test different what-if scenarios. And this is what I'm going to do now. I want to test specifically the scenario of automating the activity work order scheduled by replacing the human resources with RPA bots. Let me go back to my workspace and open the digital twin of my field service management process that I've just discovered with Apromore. As we said, this is a BPMN model, and on top of that, Apromore has automatically extracted for me a series of simulation parameters that allow me to use this model as a starting point to test different what-if scenarios. For example, I've got the arrival rate, for each task, I've got the statistical parameters of their duration, then I've got all the resources, and for each of them organized by role, I've got the number of FTEs, the cost per hour, and the assigned tasks, and so on. If I look at work order schedule, this is currently assigned to four different roles, as we saw before, the dispatcher, the front office, the operator, and the system administrator. You see that there is a mean duration of about 19 hours. So what I'm going to do now is to um, assume that I'm going to replace the human resources allocated with this activity with an RPA bot. So I'll save a new version of this model and I will start making my intervention so that then I can assess their impact on this process. So I go to the resources and I add a new role. I add a bot. I assume the bot works 24-7 and I start with simulating one instance of a bot. I take, this is going to cost me um, on average $2 per hour and I assign to this bot work order scheduled. When I go to work order scheduled, I want to simulate a scenario of unassisted automation where only the bot is going to execute this activity. Therefore, I remove all human resources that are involved in the execution of this activity. Now I need to specify how long it's going to take on average for the bot to execute the work order scheduled. So I change this to a fixed duration of, let's say, 30 seconds every time a bot is going to perform an instance of this activity. Okay, I'm now ready to simulate my what-if scenario. I trigger the simulation and every time I simulate a scenario, a promore generates an event log. So I'm going to call it uh, what-if scenario one bot. Promore is now generating the event log and then I can use all the process mining capabilities that are available in Apromore to analyze this scenario. So I go back to my workspace and I have already pre-simulated the assist scenario, which I want to use as a baseline to compare any what-if scenario to this baseline and assess the relative merits of the intervention as part of that what-if scenario. So there are different ways in which I can analyze these scenarios. What I'm going to do now is to select both the assist and the what-if logs, so the two scenarios, right-click and launch a dashboard. I'm basically asking a promoter to assess the two scenarios, one next to the other, by showing me a number of aggregate level statistics. For example, I can see that on average, it was taking about 1.4 weeks in my ASIS scenario, shown with the tiles in blue here, with an average cost of $4.3,000 per instance. Now I can see 
that uh, the automation intervention that I did on activity work order scheduled has drastically reduced the average duration of this process from 1.4 weeks down to 3.2 days whereas the cost has almost halves because now I'm using boats I suppose to human resources and the reason why I managed to reduce the cycle time significantly is that before in the ICs I had a bottleneck at activity work order schedule which was performed by the dispatcher which had a resource utilization of 76 percent so it was almost saturated as a role now this has dropped down to 23 percent having created quite a healthy buffer for me to keep pumping in work into the dispatcher however what i can note in the what if scenario is that i have started increasing the utilization of other resources such as the operator going up to 35 percent from 30 percent and the integration user going up to 29 percent instead of 26 percent these are not yet saturated resources However, what this shows me by giving me an end-to-end -end view of the process is that if I increase the arrival rate to be able to process more work orders within the same time frame, eventually I will create bottlenecks at the integration user and operator. So those could be my next two interventions. What I want to do now that I have created this intervention idea is to register it in MuleSoft RPA Manager. So I'm going to create a report, specifically a process automation assessment report. I select as the assist my assist scenario. As the to be log, I use the what if uh, scenario that Apromore has created for me. I give it a uh, name work order uh, schedule automation report and I select as a format the MuleSoft RPA manager evaluation form. I quickly authenticate into my RPA manager and then I can introspect the template and the category for my automation idea. For example, I set this as Apromore. In my report, I can see the stats of the assis and those of the to be in light of the intervention that I've done, both in terms of cycle time and cost, as well as the frequency per month. I select the task that I want to generate a report for work order scheduled, and then I ask Abrumore to quickly generate a description for me, which expresses in natural language the impact of this intervention on this specific task. So for example, I can see the impact on duration and the impact on cost, as well as the frequency per month. Then I can set these qualifiers and benefits on the basis of my domain knowledge on this process to characterize better this automation idea. For example, the nature of work for this task is pretty much rule-based. The input is all structured digital data. It is a quite stable task and the data type is text and numbers. In terms of benefits, it's quite urgent to fix this task. It's rather simple and the risk is pretty low. So I submit my automation idea and once that has been done, if I go to my Mule RPA manager in the evaluate processes section, I will see this new automation idea popping up. Here it is, work order scheduled automation. If I edit it, I can see the description, the statistics, the qualifiers, all this information has been automatically passed from Apromore to Mule RPA. And that's essentially the metadata that accompanies this automation idea. And it has all been extracted from the event log as well as the simulation that we've done on top of the original event log. I can also see a process matrix which shows this uh, automation idea in terms of qualifiers and benefits. All right, so now I'm ready to push the next automation idea in my digital backlog. So for example, if I'm happy with this one, I can approve it, set an approver, and once I've done that, then this is ready 
to go into my automation pipeline.